Man, 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 man. Cold weather ain't no joke. Cold weather ain't for everybody. Now, when I was a kid, I used to hate the cold weather because the cold weather prevented me from going outside and playing. Man, I hated that cold weather. Now, now that I'm older, I can't stand the cold weather because the cold weather do stuff to my body that my body not supposed to really encounter. I had a few surgeries and a few like really bad injuries in my 20s. And now that I'm in my 30s, man, talking about when, when the temperature drop, I feel it in the house. And I, I, I'm in the house with the heat on and room temperature, feeling good. And it'll get cold outside. And when it get cold outside, them bones and muscles start aching. It gets painful. And I'm like, man, what's going on? What did I hurt myself? And all these flashbacks start coming. So definitely, definitely, definitely take care of yourself. Definitely keep it healthy. But I will say, um, we tend to want to go through the most changes in the wintertime because we are forced to be stationary and isolated from our normal activities. When it's normal, regular temperature, we're out and about, we're always moving, always outside, scheduling vacations. But man, when it get cold, you just wanna bundle up, get you a blanket. Now, in the winter time, me, I, I go through phases in the winter, like, I like winter time because I get to wear certain clothes that I don't get to wear any time of the year. Now, t-shirts, you can wear t-shirts all year. You can wear long sleeve shirts all year, just roll the sleeve up. Dress shirts all year. Windbreakers all year. Basketball shorts all year. Jogging pants all year. Now. When it comes to winter time, you get to step your, your winter boot game up. You get to get your, your, your sweater game, your scarf game, your, your whole beanie game. You get to step all, all just, just show you your real self, you know. Because, you know, some people are like, you want to be warm. But me, I want to be stylish. Because, like, all summer, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm relaxed. But man, when that winter time come, I'm trying to bundle up, do different things. Now, I will say, uh, up until now, my activities have been limited. When I say like vacations and things like that, I'm not, I'm not thinking about vacation. But this year, I was smart. The first day it was cold, I did winter, winter cleaning. I got all my winter stuff out. I saw what I can fit, what I can't fit. So I'm definitely going to be on point with looking comfortable. You know, I got rid of some stuff. I made it some space. And I planned some vacations, you know. I got a few vacations planned because, like, I don't want my winter to go by and I haven't did something that was for me outside of the city limits. Because when I was a kid living in Jackson and we would go to Memphis during breaks and it was like a big thing it was like a simple you know Greyhound bus station where like maybe $23 round trip a $23 trip I knew the bus routes you know things of that nature was just adventurous going to Memphis getting dropped off downtown was adventurous and now that I've gotten older I can't hop on a bus and just go downtown somewhere so i've consciously started planning vacations and these vacations keep you motivated and that's what i learned about myself when i have vacations i'm motivated to be active you know but one of the challenging part about vacations is vacationing and seeing something or seeing somebody so i've been trying to see family and friends 
more often, make more of a conscious effort of seeing people. Because, like, wintertime to me really means, like, family. You know, I've gotten to the point where wintertime means family. So, during the summer, during the spring, during the fall, it's all about Michael. But wintertime, it's like I'm trying to, I guess, get my grown man on and definitely be on some, some family tips. Because, like, my parents are getting old, of course, because I'm getting old. But eventually, I'm going to be the foundation of my family because, like, I'm the oldest grandchild on my mama's side. And I have the most relationships on my dad's side. So I'm going to be the one that's keeping everybody together. So before that time happens, I've been trying to practice it individually. Because in order to be a good teacher... You have to be a good student first. So I've been practicing my student abilities, getting my student learning ability up. So when I officially be able to be the one that's teaching and educating my people on what to do, I have, I'm really, really knowledgeable. And th that's what you really want to be in life. You want to be knowledgeable of what you're trying to educate and teach people on. So you definitely want to keep that in mind when you doing your endeavors and communicating with the people you're communicating because when you have relationships you notice which ones are important during the winter time it's so crazy because like during the winter time people want to be compatible they want to have an attraction. They want to feel something because they feel alone. Because it's not in the comfort zone. Because to me, winter is the shortest period of the season. And I, I not, not technically because the seasons are equally in days and time. But when you really think about winter, what do you think about? You know, when I think about winter, I think of cold. Locked in, snow, storm, no school, uh, Christmas, uh, we have New Year's, so that's what you think about in winter, but i give you an example, like I live in Austin, in Austin, winter is like two and a half weeks, you know, winter time is two and a half weeks. So you got two, you have two and a half weeks to get your winter game on. Like your real winter. Like, ooh, it's snow outside where my boots at. Or, you know, well, it's too cold for shorts today. That's, that's winter to me. Winter is, okay, I'm not dressed appropriately. Let me go back in and change. That's winter. So it's only a short period of time. So which, what that means, fall feels longer and spring comes earlier. Now, spring is challenging because spring is like, is it cold? Is it warm? But wintertime, it just is supposed to be cold. So if you get any warm days during the wintertime, it doesn't feel like winter. So that's why it's really critical. So during that short amount of time for winter, you start to better analyze who's with you. And then after that wintertime, you're like, well, nobody was with me. Nobody cared about me. So I'm going to go do my own thing in the spring, in the summer. And we start that whole isolation cycle again. You know, oh, I'm not wanted. So you live it up. And then you go through this whole spring, summer, fall. And actually, you know, it's back wintertime again. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people get in unwanted relationships in the wintertime because it's like, I want somebody. I need somebody. Nobody want to be cold tell me, you know, I don't mind being cold, because, you know, I know winter ain't long, I know it ain't that long, so, most, most negative situations in life, not that long, so, when I'm in a negativity moment, I just be calm and be patient and wait for the storm to end, because, you know, these negativities don't last for long, so you definitely want to, you don't want to dwell on them too long, but you do want to pay attention, and you want to definitely catch these cycles, that you're going through. So definitely, you know, during this winter time, you want to focus on 
how you can improve yourself, okay, in a manner that will help you during winter and when winter's over. You don't want to put yourself in a hole during winter time. I give you an example. You don't want to go through the winter time blowing money fast, and then when it warm up, you ain't got no money to do anything. That's that's a negative effect of focusing on the wrong thing during this time period. Winter, you gotta be super critical in your decisions, you know, because as we previously discussed, we don't know when the real, real winter is going to hit, and we don't know how long the real, real winter is going to last. So, you don't want to start making uh, bad judgment and bad decisions early. Okay? You want to save yourself, okay, and build yourself for the long run. You know, it's like, for an example, when the animals are preparing for hibernation. How do they prepare for hibernation? They, they spend the whole time stacking up food. They don't be like, well, let me meal prep for the winter. You know, you can't meal prep for the winter, right? No. You want to get as much food as possible, you know? You want to get as many blankets as possible in the wintertime. You don't want to be like, well, I got my one good blanket. You want to get as many blankets as possible. So that's really, really critical when you're tearing out yourself in the wintertime because a lot of times in the winter, you think you got enough. You don't want to think you have enough. You want to know you got too much, all right? Because think about it. If you got too much in the winter, you can use that wind. Spring, summer, fall. Exactly. But if you don't have enough for the winter, you know what's going to happen? You're going to take some of your springs away. You're going to take some of your summer away. You're going to take some of your fall away. And those months seasons have their benefits so you don't want to lose those benefits because you didn't mentally prepare and build up enough for the winter all right so it's not winter time technically it's technically fall all right so during the fall the rest of the fall you want to keep stacking 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 and when winter hits you're in winter you don't want to be like, okay, winter going to start on this day. You want to start moving now like you don't know when winter going to come. Winter tomorrow. Let's work like winter is tomorrow. Let's love and care for people today like it ain't no tomorrow. Let's stack our money up today like it's no tomorrow. Not not let's stack our money up today, but I'm going to stack some more tomorrow. Stack all you got today, you know. Put all your chips in today and see what happens, you know. That's going to be your best approach to be successful during these winter times. All right? All right. Peace out, holler.